Hey everybody, and welcome to part 3 of Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. So, in the last episode, we found Captain Quark kick Quark Quark kicked his ass and brought him back to the Starship Starship Phoenix. So now, I know what this is. Now we'll be checking things out. Do we have any data? Data. Oh, you do not qualify. Oh, we get a new skin, but we don't get the discount. I believe you get the suck cannon for free. There might be one other game you get for free. But yeah, so we don't qualify for that. And then this is the weapon vendor. Yeah, we know. They'll notify us when we get new armor. Costs 10,000 for the magna plate armor. A full body personal armor system reinforced with an energy absorbing ally called magna plate. Gadgetron guarantees their new magna plate armor system will reduce damage from enemy fire by a full 33%. Well, that's exciting. Uh, that's just an empty room over there. Our quarters are over yonder. So let's go through here, check things out. This door leads us to. Oh, the trophy room. There's the ratchet trophy. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, there are going to be quite a few throughout the game that we have to collect, including villain ones. Ooh, sweet. Her picture looks funny compared to her. Let's do it. Warm up. We're 300 bolts only. And let's use the plasma. Plasma whip is going to be our best friend for these VR challenges. Hey, Pyrositors from the very first game. Remember those guy? Remember that weapon from my first LP of it, guys, on my other channel? Yeah. Boom. And this weapon, like bosses in this game, actually level up your weapons crazy amounts. That's why I thought they did in future, but in future it's literally just depending on how much you use the weapon and on how far ahead in the game the enemies are. Not based on their toughness or, or based on their uh, weakness or sissiness or anything like that. Okay! Oh, that guy survived. Probably because the shield was protecting him. Hey, the Walloper! I believe it's the Walloper, right? Oh. There are a lot of enemies in here for only 300 bolts. Seriously, not worth very much. Don't look down. Watch out for disappearing floor panels while fighting the test dummies. Six rounds. That shouldn't be too hard. I guess you can see it upgrade, that's not bad. Remember, this isn't real. This is just virtual reality at its finest. Where you actually get to play in it as a person. Not just watch stuff on your face. Now this would be cool virtual reality because a lot of people have to wear glasses and it's a hard it's hard for them to do a lot of 3D or virtual reality stuff, so this does help out. If it became real. Boom. Okay, round five out of six. And you're all dead. You guys are all dead. And finally, round six. I believe you get a platinum bolt if you finish all these. So that's what we're going to be aiming for. And 500 bolts for that. Not bad. Now we have speed round. Destroy all the test dummies before time runs out. 400 bolts. Yeah, this game has a lot of, like, challenges. Like, I mean on the basic planets as well. I guess that was kind of like this game's gimmick was all the challenges. Like, sure, on the other games you had, like, the battle arenas and stuff like that, but this game took it a little further than just that. And 400 more bolts. Now we got Hot Stepper. The floor panels will leave and return as you fight the test dummies. 700 bolts. And eight rounds of this. Eh, that's fine. Oh, and Plasma V2. It didn't actually show it upgrade because I believe it's the area we're in. But yeah, the Plasma will actually change color too as it levels up. I believe the first two or three levels is like the same color. But yeah, it took damage on that. But then it'll start to turn blue or something like that. The, the, the fire changes. Boom. Yeah, we got more little goons coming up over here. Man. What really- ah, darn it, I misjudged my whip. 
really like to play Size Matters for you guys, but I might have to find a ROM for that just because it's really, really sad that I don't have a PS2. Otherwise, I'm probably playing the PS2 version of this and not the remake. Yay, nanotech increase. Also, nanotech increases in this game don't kill all the enemies. Did that in future as well. A lot of differences. You know, why don't I just use this? Well, this isn't insta-kill them. It actually takes two hits apiece. Oh. We're almost done all the rounds. Two more to go. Blow up all these dummies. At least we can get them from far away with this. Oh yeah, you dare try and hit me? And one round remaining. Oh, five waves of these little guys? Hey, that one hurt himself. Or, well, got hit by his teammates. It's like hardcore Call of Duty going on in here. <laughs> and there we go! 700 bolts. And then we'll do the Shocker. Destroy all the test dummies using only the Shock Blaster. 500 bolts. This one's not bad. Best bet if you don't want to run out of ammo, because I don't believe they supply you with ammo here, is you just line them up. But we have upgraded this so it does do more damage. Boom. 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 As long as I don't use more than 10 per round, we'll be good. Especially if that happens. Can you guys not do that? There we go. And the final round. Destroy them. Come over here, destroy you guys. Yeah, you're gonna start seeing these a lot in this game too, the ones where you have to use a specific weapon. Some of them you won't have at the time, so then you have to stop the challenges. Wrench beatdown. Destroy all the test dummies using only the Omni Wrench. 600 bolts for this. Technically worth more bolts than the uh, gun one. Though you can't actually run out of ammo with this. This one is more time consuming because you have to watch out for these fire guys. Oh man. You guys get away from me. Do you guys all have the fire ability? Yes, you do. Oh, come on. I was trying to avoid that. Stop that. Best bet is to, like, smack them as soon as they come up. That way they can't do it to you. Oh, these guys are just wallopers. Really, give me the, the Pyrocitor guys first, then the Wallopers. Seems a little bit of a joke, don't you think? Oh yeah, we'll give you the easy guys second. Now let me guess, a mix of them all? The Walloper guys are easy because you just smack them. Oh no, more Pyrocitor dudes. Pyrocitor dudes, screw up. Screw up. There we go, 600 bolts for that. 90 second slayer. Destroy even more dummies before time runs out. A thousand bolts. Yeah, we should be going to the the bridge, but you know, we're not we're not going there right now. Now we can use this since well, I guess I should be using my N60 storm, but this weapon makes things a lot quicker. Oh, where are there are oh there's some guys behind me, okay. I see how it is. I'll go over here. Why does it only give me three? This game's really skimpy on the ammo. And you have the other games, the one where you can go and buy ammo all the time in a thousand bolts, really? Nerves up titanium. Fight through the final VR battle and win a titanium bolt. Seems easy. Why would you use the vendor unless you're buying a new weapon? Because there's really nothing you can do. 12 rounds of these little guys, holy cow. See, that's why the Plasma Whip is great. You can hit so many enemies all at once. Boom. There we go. Okay, more here. Double wave. Oh, that worked out perfectly. These guys also don't give you very many bolts. Most of them give you like one or two bolts a piece. Oh. Apparently, there's these guys. Oh, 
Alright, you guys are gone. Toast and toast. That was a quick round. And how much to talk about while killing all these guys off, is there? Oh god damn you, man. Yow. Death to you. Halfway there. Yeah, Plasma Up is a pretty good weapon, though. I really like it. Probably one of the first weapons I ever upgraded to max in this game. Though, every weapon does get pretty cool in this game. Like, they changed completely. We're, oh, it's changing. Like, in the future series, the weapons don't honestly change that much, even with their cool little perks that you can get. Which I always thought was kind of sad. Still think this game has, like, the best upgrade system. Though, in Deadlock, you can get your weapons up to V99. Which is absolutely insane. I thought that was just a little ridiculous, but that's just me. Oh. Round nine. Fight! Boom! You're all dead. Oh, these guys are all wallopers. That's a joke, right? Having all wallopers is a joke. These are like the easiest guys to kill. More wallopers. Oh, no, there's Pyrocitor guys as well. Whoa! I was not expecting that to happen. Okay, bring it on, guys. Oh, these guys are all wallopers, though. But, you know, the Fire Center guys just don't always shoot flames. So it depends on, like, how many enemies have died. Well, I only killed one of them with that. And round 12. Ooh, that was a nice cut through. Didn't even take any damage from them. There we go. The Titanium Bolt. Yeah. To purchase new skins in the specials menu. I thought we broke it for a second. Anyways, that's all those done, so I guess we can go to our quarters now and check everything out here. These are your quarters. I set up the VG9000 to play vid comic discs. Vid comic discs. Cool. Banana. What do you think he got like this? Well, the life of an intergalactic superhero can be very stressful. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you're telling me this nutcase is our only hope for stopping Nefarious? <laughs> <laughs> We're hosed. Nope, you'll have to do all the work yourself. Dude, you don't need to tell us that again. You literally told us that we need a uh, vid comic to play it. Meet me on the bridge. Okay. Meet her on the bridge. Hey, you didn't fill up my ammo after those challenges. Man, you guys are cheap. Take the bird. Dirty birdie. Press triangle to interrupt these messages. You can disable oh, okay. the messages in the options menu. That's nice to know. And oh, here's the bridge. We're losing the signal. Try boosting the power. Isn't that the president? They came out of nowhere. Tyrannoid invasion force. The presidential compound has been breached. We cannot hold out much longer here. Mr. President. Dad, are you there? Dad? Oh, nefarious. Robotic citizens of the Solana Galaxy. The hour of your liberation is at hand. The robots suffered under the bigotry, the stupidity, the squishiness and foul stench of organic life forms. Soon, all robots will bask in the liberty and equality of my benevolent, iron-fisted rule. And as for you filthy organic life forms, you can look forward to being disintegrated. <laughs> That's all for now. The poor camera. It was destroyed. Plot a course from Arcadia. Maximum speed. Repair the dropship for planetary assault. We're going in. We'll see you on Arcadia. Okay. Capital City, Planet Arcadia. So let's go to our ship. 
There's a skill point later on you can get in there for hitting a monkey with your wrench, but we can't do that yet. Select the missions menu from the pause screen. Wait, there's a missions menu? I've never actually checked this out. You know, I never knew that. The game is kind of obvious with where you're supposed to go. Like, you don't get lost in this game very much. Like, seriously, you, you don't get lost at all. Or at least it's very hard to. So anyways, in the next episode, what we'll be doing is we will be taking our ship to go to Planet Mercadius. So